G'day everybody, it's Mike. Just thought I would uh, do a little bit of an update on Lakeside 1969. And just trying to show you some photos I have. I've gotten off the, uh, there's a Brisbane government website which has historical photos of Lakeside Raceway going right back to 1964, this one is. And if you look in here, it's this is when it was literally three years old, I think it was. And there's not much there. <laughs> um, the pit entry down here doesn't exist. Uh, there's no golf course. Um, the pits here are very, very basic. There's a dirt entry here. A little exit here. And there's another pit entry up top, just before where the bridge doesn't even exist yet down into here so there's this section here believe it or not is still in existence these these little roads here um, there's no cutout on the hill so this is like a huge slope where the current track has a cutout here there's a flat section through here and another cutout and embankment there and also this section through here is very different there's no bus stop um, the farmhouse still here, still exists, and this lake um, <coughs> or the dam, I didn't know how old that was, but it's pretty old. It's been around forever. This top one is still there. Um, as you can see, there's no road entry except this little old dirt road and used to cut through here. That building is now gone, uh, and here it's pretty dry. As you can see, there's no water in the dam. In Lake Coomba. Now the next photo. This is November 1969, and this is. You can see the difference. I've had some rain, obviously, and that's filled up the dam. This is where the 1969 Grand Prix was was run, and they upgraded the track this year and the start tower is the current start tower and the pit entrance it's hard to see but there's the road the new pit entrance comes down through here there's a narrow strip of bitumen and that's all uh, blue metal dirt sort of thing same here this section here where all the pits are there were tents and little garages and stuff temporary stuff this road coming down onto the kink still exists. Um, there's a pit entrance through here. The bridge was put in. That was put in in the late 60s. And there's a few more access roads. There's another access road coming off the highway, comes through here. Here's the main entrance. And there's another entrance which is still used today, comes up through here. So this next photo is 1976, and it's a lot clearer. And this there's, there's nothing much changed between 1969 and 1976. The, it's hard to see, but there's an armco here. And that's an embankment right up there. And there's fencing. And we used to drive through, through here. And they used to park. And this was absolutely packed. Um, all through here is just a paddock. There's no inner field at all. Um, and this is the section I'm building here in 3D Max. So it's just a fairly sharp cutting through there. Um, the fence is a straight fence here. And that's where everyone used to drive. Come in through here. This road still exists. This section does not. Um, but this section here, this is where all the driver training area is. So you come through here and up top, that is all pretty well the same. There's no access road around the perimeter here. Um, you've just got a bit of bush here. And 76 was when they were building the golf course. Um, but the earlier version, which is the one I'm doing. Uh, here we go. No golf course. So it's all, all bush. Um, 
and there was a horse racing track here. So this is what I'm modelling modelling now. Very hard to find photos of the infield, so I'm just going to use this as a reference. Um, the pit entrance is the said the same. The fences are the same, except there were only one or two Armco rails high, where the current one is three Armco that changed later. The this pit is actually different from a few years ago, but it gives me an idea of what I have to do. The bridge was there. Um, this is still a big slope. Everyone used to park their cars, and there's some photos I've got where that is just packed with cars, and people used to stand across the fence here, and all this area here was absolutely packed. Cars would park through here. Everyone would be up here and on top of the hill here. So if we go to Max, this is where I'm up to, and I've got the the early wit track. Um, and it's been upgraded to R Factor 2 mesh spec. So what I have to do is this section of the cutting is the same. This section is where the bus stop was, so I'm, I need to rebuild this whole area here. So I'm using this line to build and I'll probably delete a lot of this and then just start from scratch from this section. But once it's done, I'll, I'll try and get a, um, a basic uh, version of the track in-game so we can run around with the early historic open-wheelers. The track is very, very basic. Um, there was not much not much around. Um, this is 1981 and I think I've got uh, these other photos. That's a heavy cat. Um, this is what I used to make the original R Factor track. Um, I have no idea where that exists now. I was lucky enough to get it. I made a mistake with the first track in that there was a fold here and this section was too short so the newer track is actually correct so from this edge of the track to this edge of the track is exactly within one meter um, trying to get it perfect is is really difficult because i use bob's track builder and that's not the best track builder to use but it did its job and all the other fine tuning was done see the outer tracks are all these are new because they cut all this out um, and change things over the years. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, I can't give a date, but probably New Year, early, early New Year, so maybe January, um, I will be able to release and show, show everybody what, um, what the track looks like. So anyway, thanks for listening and have a great day.